Learning objectives come in three flavors. Knowledge, skills, and butter pecan. Actually, knowledge, skills, and attitude. A knowledge objective is something that you want your learners to know after you've taught them. For example, perhaps after you teach a class, you want your learners to know two types of transferences that are found in Kohut's theories, or that Kohut would look pretty good with a mustache. This is just what you want your learners to know, what you want them to get into their heads. They don't have to do anything with it yet. That's where skills objectives come in. A skills learning objective is something that you actually want somebody to be able to do after you teach them. For example, if you say, after I work with my students, I want them to be able to confront resistance. That's different than just knowing what resistance is. And lastly, the stepchild of the learning objectives, attitudes. This is where you want somebody's attitude to actually change after you've taught them something. So here you might say, after I work with my students, I want them to be more comfortable listening to dreams. Not that you want them to be able to interpret dreams, but that you want them to be more comfortable. You want their attitudes to change. It's very important to know what kind of learning objective you have because it's going to guide the way you teach. So if you've got a knowledge objective, you can do something like a lecture. But if you've got a skills objective, you have to do something much more practical. And if you have an attitude objective, well, we'll get to that. The point is, you really have to know what kind of learning objective you have because that's going to guide you. So let's continue with our guide.